Okay, so tip number one is to always find a scene where the subject is moving or at least something in the background is moving. Just like I did here, I was holding the honey dipper still and the honey was flowing on the bread while my wife was pouring some milk in the background, in a glass. In the final cinemagraph, you will need to freeze. <laughs> Stop or freeze, make up your mind, Chris. <laughs> In the final cinemagraph, you will need to stop. Oh, to freeze. In the final cinemagraph, you will need to freeze the motion of the subject or of the background. If you want to see how I did this in Photoshop, I will drop you a link to that tutorial in the description. Tip number two is to use a tripod. This is so important because when you edit the footage, you need to be locked on your frame in order to mask elements and to be able to create that endless loop cinemagraph in the end. Tip number three is to use a stable good LED light that's not flickering if you're filming indoor, of course. Make sure you find the best spot to position the light, maybe you want to position it from above to avoid hard shadows under the objects and keep it in place on a stand while you're filming. Links to the lights that I use down in the description. However, if you record outside or near a window, you'll have a lot of natural light, so you won't need an LED light. Tip number four, you need to lock down your camera settings. You need to turn off the image stabilization you need to use manual aperture, manual white balance, ISO values. But the most important thing, you need to be on manual focus. Don't let the camera do its auto thing because you will ruin the shot. What we are trying to achieve is this, an endless loop video with the focus on the same subject, same lighting, same white balance, and so on. This is the most important thing to remember when trying to make, create, record cinemagraphs. Tip number five, take the time and think about your cinemagraph idea and put down all the details on paper. Create a checklist to make sure you won't forget something. Be thoughtful about what you want to animate in the end. Don't overcomplicate things like I do usually. The idea is to start with simple cinemagraphs. I'm also a beginner at this, but I thought I could share my personal best tips at this point on how to make a cinemagraph. And also, if you want to see how I edited my first cinemagraph in Photoshop, make sure you watch the tutorial, it's on the screen right now. I'm Chris, see you in the next video, and subscribe if you aren't already.